I wanted to share not a technique for restoring a piano or a technique of playing, but instead talk about what is the feel of a properly set up key. What you feel when they're right is that with the lightest of pressure, you get a firing of the note, which is clean. Of course, it's never good if it's not in tune. But we're looking for the felt, felt to hit all three strings at the same time, to be centered on those three strings. And for the knuckle, to be coming off that jack at just the right angle. And of course the jack must be even with the window of the whippin, or it can't uh, respond immediately either. It needs to be gently held by the felts. But from a tactile perspective, I'm not really feeling a bump of any kind. And repetition. Wow. That's a lot of dynamic. Interestingly enough, after you've worked on a piano, working on one, you know, just hitting the keys. have been worked and you know they got to get used to being used and, and everything's not played in in factories what they do is they run machines on these and it hits every note like thousands of times but we got to play them and of course you want to be aware of all your registers those are lovely very nice there's a hardness but there's also to the tone, a brightness, but there's also a, a warmth. Overall, I think it's a very even, you know, So, uh, and I would say that, like, you can set your piano by, by the specifications in the book in terms of let off and drop, but it only makes sense, really, when you've got your hand on the piano and you're hitting that note and you're looking at how close it is to the string and you're saying, I, I don't think it's responding quite as nice as I want so that let off's a little off and then understand every time you touch that let off you must reset the drop they they're hand in hand and if one switches the other one switches it's just the way it is so I know a lot of some of my friends have complained that there's repetition in my videos I'm trying to show that you have to do things over and over and over and over and have the patience to do them over and 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 over as you bring this piano into a condition which is ideal for what you want to say. Uh, 
uh, it is a tool for us to express. It is a tool for us to create sounds, to, um, to uh, evoke emotion, to uh, do these things in the connection. And all that work in, in regulation and voicing and all that time. Because to get these hammers to sound like this, I had to grind up my hand, start off with Bs, not As, big ones with heavier shafts, shape them with a Dremel, cold iron them, hot iron them, hit them with a hammer, hot iron them again. No needling, because I had to hit them with chemicals in the very beginning. I couldn't get a needle into them. You, you can't voice a hammer if you can't get the needle, but don't forget the B felt's heavier than the A felt. It's a, it's a, it's a denser felt, so you, it'll take that chemical softening pretty well. And um, <clears throat> in time, uh, they started to come in. It'll get harder, but... See, these have bigger felt than they normally would have because they're B's instead of A hammerheads. So as these wear and I scrub off layers of the felt to get rid of those lines, I'm, they're automatically going to go closer to the specification of an A head. And I actually lucked out and got a used set of A heads recently and they could have gone onto this, but, but they're not because this is going to be left the way it is. And they're going to go on to 1923, where the hammers are really messed up. So I'm just saying that it's, it's a long path to get to something that you're kind of happy with tonally and, you know, a sound that you like. It's going to sing. and the richness with no muddiness that's the 137 year old magic but not everybody likes that I do I like the to me the piano is like you know a singing voice so It can sing. And I'm trying to teach this hand to sing too. The hand on the left isn't just accompaniment, it has to sing too. It's got its own voice. So it has to be trained to do that, trained to find a beautiful tone, trained to uh, find a beautiful sound to express itself uh, along with the right, so that they both are alive in the same way and the equal strength. And so, uh, but anyhow, that's what the feel uh, of a correct piano, of course the keys have to be level in this position and in down, both. And uh, this has, a touch more like a concert piano because the A was made to be a parlor home piano. It's only six feet. And so it's got these bigger hammers and bigger heads, so it's got feels more of a heavier unit. But I like that because I it has to be able to give a lot. 